Okay, that assignment I gave you yesterday, I thought you did a great job on that. Um, I only have two that I need you to make corrections on, so that's yours. Good. Remember, again, it's a good idea. Thank you for not putting your name on it. We don't, we don't need your name to appear in the video. So, okay, the ones I wrote good on are right. Okay, so that's very good. Um, and you got a good portion of them right. Okay, you only, we're only going to go back and relook at two of them. Okay. Um, number two, I want to look at that one, that, um, number two, so again, your X's are on this side, gosh, I'm going to have to use a pen here, because that pen is crappy, you won't be able to see it on camera, okay, so there's my wall, now you got two X's, okay, so you're going to put a one in front of that X, and you're going to connect them, okay, just the two and the one. Now remember, you're going to add them every time, but remember, if that's a minus one, you're going to make it plus negative one. Okay? So we're going to line up the equals, and we're going to put 27 all by itself. And then when I add those, remember, when I take two plus negative one, that's going to be, and then you can use a calculator if you have to, it's going to be one. Two plus negative one is going to be one. So we're going to put one x, and then your constant 46. See what went on here is you forgot to put the X. You did that right, but you forgot to put the X on the 1. Okay. So remember the number in front of the X, don't add or subtract that because that's your multiplying number. So now X is over here. It's just multiplied by 1. And then we have an outside 46 because it's X being multiplied by 1 and there's a 46 being added. So we got to do the opposite of plus 46. So it would be 46. Okay. Okay. So equals. And on this side, we're going to take 27 minus 46 and that's going to be negative 19. And then on this side, you got 1 times X. So X is being multiplied by 1. Let's divide by 1. Really, dividing by 1 just gives you the same answer, but it's it's okay. Okay, It's worth doing. So negative 19 divided by 1 is going to be negative 19. Okay. Now, I also want to look at number 7. That was the only other. Number 7 is kind of a tricky devil. Okay, I don't blame you for missing that one. Okay. I saw you put an X there because you notice how you're like, well, I don't see another X there. And I get that, okay? It, it, I, I see where you were thinking, okay? So I understand it. So X is over here. Now, this is the only X I have, okay? So it can't really be combined with anything, okay? So, so I'm going to kind of dot that, circle it. What I do then with the 30 and the negative 3, since neither one of them have X's behind connected to the back end, we're actually going to do the adding with those, okay? So I line up my equals, and we have 37. And I've got 5 times X, and then we're going to add negative 3 to 30, okay? So negative 3 plus 30. Now, I know those don't; they both don't have X's, so they can be combined. So it's 27. Okay, and now you have a much simpler equation you can deal with. Okay, you got times 5 and then um, plus 27. So the opposite of plus 27 is minus 27. Line up your equals. 37 minus 27 is 10, and you got 5 times x. And then we're going to divide both sides by 5. Okay, 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 is equal to x, or x equals 2. Okay, and that's what we have. That one is kind of tricky. Yeah, don't put your own x there. What you're going to do, if you only see one number with an x and there's two other numbers, you're going to actually do your v with these two. Okay, so you combine those. The 5x will stay like it is. Okay, that's okay. That was a good job on that. Okay, I was happy with that. Um, now the next one... What you're going to do in the next part, I don't have any problems for you to work on your own. And the reason why is because it's a Friday, okay? Um, and we would just end up having to do it Monday anyway because you might forget what you're doing. Everybody has that problem. But this is different, okay, than what you did. On these, you did, and that's a problem you got right. The X's are on the same side, okay? 
so you're going to combine those, okay, just with the V, which I was glad to see you do with the V. But we have a little problem here. The fact that the X's are on different sides of the equals. See, the equals is right here. When they're on different sides, you can't do the V. That's not going to work. So what you're going to do is pick one of the X's. It doesn't matter which one, okay? It really doesn't matter. I usually pick the smaller one, okay? And I mark that with an arrow. And when I mark that with an arrow, I'm going to put 4X here and 4X here. Now what I'm doing is adding or subtracting. I have to get that 4X to a 0, okay? Now I'm going to make a number line. You might not need it, okay? I mean, I don't know how well you understand negatives and positives, so I'll just assume, you know, that you can use it. Um, that's a positive 4 on top. So to get to 0, you'd have to go left, okay? You'd have to go left, and that would mean you would have to subtract 4 to get to 0. And then we subtract 4 from here. So 4x minus 4x is 0. That's why I do that, because that's going to be 0. And you don't put 0x. That's just out of the equation. So I line up my equals, and we have 1 on this side. Now over here, 7x minus 4x is 3x, and then we have minus 5. Now, it's, now I know how to solve it. Okay, because now x is here just on one side of the equation, so I got my wall. Two things happening, times 3 and minus 5. Okay, so the opposite of minus 5, okay, is plus 5. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So line up your equals, and you have 6 on this side, and on this side you still have 3 times x. Okay, so then you're going to divide both sides at the end by the number with the x, 3, 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and that is our answer. Okay, now here's the equals. Now, when x are on opposite sides of equals, don't make the v, okay? When they're on opposite sides, you're going to mark one of, mark one of the x's with an arrow. It doesn't matter which one. Again, I usually pick the smaller one, okay? but it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, okay? They're both, they, they both will work the same if you do everything else right. So I'll mark that one, and I'll put 5x, 5x. Now, one thing that's important, don't put a line between the 5x's because you are not dividing. This is not a division thing that you're doing. You're adding or subtracting. So that's 5, and I need to get that 5 to a 0, so to get 5 to 0, we go to the left on the number line, which means subtraction. So minus 5, minus 5. That's 0, and we line up the equals, and you have negative 2. Then 6x minus 5x is 1x plus 5. Now, I see the side of the equals that my x is on. Two things happening, multiplied by 1 and a plus 5. So I do the plus 5 first, so outside the circles where we go first. So minus 5, minus 5, and you know that, okay? You've proven to me on the assignments, you know that. Then negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. 1 times x, okay? And then um, time to divide by the number with the x, so just 1, okay? Negative 7 divided by 1 is negative 7, okay? And I know that seems kind of silly to divide a number by 1, but hey, it can't hurt, okay? That's... Okay, my next problem. Now, here's the equals. Again, you got x here and x here. They're on opposite sides of the equals, so don't make that v, okay? That's what you did yesterday because they were on the same side of the... They're on one side of the equals, Okay? But now they're not. Sorry, I don't know why I made that line. Darn marker. Okay, I got 5x and 8x. Mark one of the x's. Again, I usually mark the smaller one. So then what I do with that is put 5x and 5x. So that 5 right there is a positive 5. So to get it to 0, we would again move left, so I'd be minusing. Minus. So equals, you have 7 on this side. 
Now one thing you will want to do, you want to write your x first. So you're going to take 8x minus 5x and that's 3x and then minus 14. If it's a negative, you write the expression with a minus. Okay. It's just better for consistency so it can be the same. Okay, if I put my x, x down first by taking 8x minus 5x and then putting the constant, which is negative 14. And the but, is it, but we write 3x minus 14. Okay, so two things, multiply by 3 minus 14. So let's plus 14 because the opposite and then plus 14. Okay, 7 plus 14 is 21 and you got 3 times x. Okay, then it's 3 times x equals 21, so what number would x be? Well, I'll divide by the number with the x, which would be 3. So 27, 1 divided by 3 is 7. Okay, next problem. Negative 2 plus 5x equals 4x plus 2. So again, you get a 5x and a 4x, but they're on opposite sides. So again, mark one of them with an arrow again. I usually mark the smaller one. Okay, so I'll put 4x, 4x. Okay, so that four, on, that 4 on top right there is a positive. So to get that to 0, you would be again going to the left, so you'd be minusing. And minus, so I line up my equals. Remember, it's smart to do the x's first. 5x minus, I know negative 2 comes first, but it's better if you do the x's. 5x minus, so you got 2 on this side, by the way. So 5x minus 4x is 1x, and then the negative 2 means you would have minus 2. Okay, so easy enough. So 1 is multiplied by x, we circle it. Okay, I got to do the minus 2, which is plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, and then it's dividing time by 1. So 4 divided by 1 is 4. Okay, next. Okay, 4x minus 3 equals negative 9 plus 7x, solving for x. Okay, so I've got equals with x on opposite sides. So I got a 4x and a 7x. Pick one of them, it doesn't matter which one. Okay. I again I usually I usually do the smaller one. That's just me. Okay, so that 4 up there is positive, so to get to 0, we would uh, have to move to the left, meaning subtract 4x. That cancels, that goes away, and you have negative 3. Okay, do the x's first, 7x minus 4x is 3x, and the negative 9 would mean we have subtracting 9. And there's my wall. Two things happening on the x side, multiply by 3. And then minus 9, we do the minus 9 first. So plus 9, plus 9. Negative 3 plus 9 is going to be 6. And then you got 3 times x. And again, the reason why that's 6, because if you're at negative 3 and go not when you add, you go to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 takes me to 6. Then I divide by 3. Okay. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so x equals 2. Okay, line up your equals. Again, you can't make the v when they're on opposite, different sides, if when the equals is in between. Okay, so you got 5x and 8x. 5x is smaller. Okay, so I go 5x, 5x. Now I get to get the 5x to 0, which means again I minus. I'd like to get one where I have to add, but it hasn't happened yet. So minus, minus, draw, line up your equals, and you have constant 3 all by itself. And then do your x's, 8x minus 5x is 3x plus constant 3. 3's are wild here. Okay, so 3 is multiplied by x. And you also got a plus 3, so you got to deal with the plus 3 first. So we minus 3, minus 3, line up the equals. 3 minus 3 is 0, and we have 3 times x. 
Then it's dividing time, and yeah, you're divided by the number with the x, 3, and 0 divided by 3 is 0. So again, it's possible to get a solution of 0. It happens. Okay, now the next one. Next one's a little bit weird. Okay, it really is. You've got a... By the way, if an x doesn't have a number in front, put a 1 right in front of it. Okay. Now, one thing you want to do with those x's, again, if they have minus signs in front of the coefficient number, you want to make it plus negative and plus negative. Now, um, it doesn't matter which one you pick, but if I follow my rule of picking the smaller one, negative 3 is smaller than negative 1. Because if you look at a number line, negative 3 is further left than negative 1 is. Hence, negative 3 would be the smallest value. Okay, so right there. So you're going to put 3x and 3x. Now, one thing when doing this, don't put a negative under the 3x. Just put 3x, okay? Okay, I mean, does that make sense? When you're put, lining up the number, you want to just put 3x and 3x. Don't put a negative in front of the 3. Just trust me on this, okay? Because on the other ones, I was just like this one. I was just putting 5x and 5x, okay? Now, how would you get it? What would you do to a negative 3 to get it to 0, okay? You would have to go to the right, 1, 2, 3. So you would have to add 3. So you would plus 3. So that crosses out because that is now zero and you drop your equals and you have eight on this side. So do your x's first, but remember it's not one plus three, it's negative one plus three. Okay? That's a game changer. Negative one plus three is two. So again, because if you're at negative one, you add three, one, two, three, you're at two. So that would be two x plus fourteen. Okay, so x is multiplied by 2, circle it. You got plus 14, so you're going to minus 14. Line up your equals. 8 minus 14 is going to be negative 6, and over here you got 2 times x. So you divide by the number with the x, which is 2. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Okay, now the next one, the last example I'm going to do, you got 12x, and that x put a 1 right in the front. So you see what it has as a coefficient. Now there's two x's, and the equals is between them, okay? So your 12x is there. That 1x has a minus. We're going to go plus negative. So if I have a 12x, and I've got a negative 1x, okay, right there is my smaller one. And you are going to put underneath it, don't put negative 1x, so just put 1x. When doing this little procedure, don't put a negative there, okay? Just put the, the 1x, and then you'll see if you have to plus or minus to get that to equal 0. Okay, now we look over here where we got the 1s, okay? That's a negative 1. To get to 0, I would have to go this way to the right, which would mean I would have to add 1. Okay, so we get rid of that, and equals, and we're adding 1 here. Same thing, I, whatever I do to here, I have to do the same thing over there. So that's 13x minus 4, and then 9. Okay, so 13 times x, and then there's a minus 4 between the circles. So we add 4, add 4. 13 times x, 9 plus 4 is a 13 divide by 13. Okay, 13 divided by 13 is 1. Now, I think you'll be okay with this on Monday. The only difference is, um, remember, when it's a negative that you mark with an arrow, just put, th put, a po just put the positive 3x and 3x, and then use your number line to decide what to do with it. Okay, for example, like negative 3, to get to 0, I have to go this way. Okay, so I would add 3 plus 3x.
But what a lot of people will do is they'll put, they'll see it's negative three X and they'll put a negative three X below it. Okay. No, you just want to put three X. Okay. You just want to put, always put the positive every single time and then decide whether to plus it or minus it. All right, you'll uh, get some practice problems to you Monday. I'll just restaple these examples and you can rewatch the video if you forgot how to do it. That's fine. Okay, that's all I have to say on that. I hope it's been informative and have a good weekend.